I'm standing here today below a very high tower that reaches up into the heavens, into the sky. And I'm reminded of a time in history where a rebellious leader led the entire world into an open rebellion against God. What a shocking time that was. It's the time of the Tower of Babel as recorded in Genesis 11. The word Babel means confusion. It was a time of confusion, no doubt, because they had forgotten where they come from. They had forgotten who God was and his place in their life, and they rebelled openly and unitedly against God, the God of heaven. Some people think that unity is the most important thing. What we are united around is secondary. First, we must be united. Well, that is a false concept. And it's never what the Bible teaches. The Bible teaches that truth must be the center and the core of our unity. We uh, are in rebellion to God if we are united around anything other than the absolute truth. And of course, that creates another problem in our time because many today don't want to believe that there is absolute truth. In fact, they think the only absolute truth there is is that there is no absolute truth, which is self-contradictory in and of itself. Uh, Oh, or maybe a better word for it is confusion. These are times of confusion. And the only thing that will, will help us in a day like this is to be established and united on the truth. That's why you need to belong to a good Bible-believing church in this time. Otherwise, we're building towers into the heavens, and we're trying to reach God through a tower or pour, pull heaven down to our level and rebel against God, become our own gods. If you're not connected to a good Bible-believing church, then you are part of the age that rebels against God. So let me encourage you to plug in and become united around truth in this day and age of confusion. Go in peace. God bless you, my friends.